There are things here that shouldn't have been disturbed. Get out. I need to get out of here. Welcome to another haunting episode of Unearthing the Supernatural. We join the crew tonight at a world famous ghost town in the deserts of Arizona. Vulture City Mine is a gold and silver mine located at the base of the Vulture Peaks, about 70 miles northwest of Phoenix, Arizona. In 1863, Henry Wickenburg had discovered quartz deposits in the area and struck gold. A small mining town developed and eventually grew to the size of 5,000 citizens. The gold and silver that were extracted from the mine is said to have established much of Arizona as we see it today. But with all that money comes greed and death. The city was home to countless deaths, murders, hangings, and Old West brutality. The mine was eventually shut down in 1942 and left abandoned for some time. What is left of the buildings are in the process of restoration and their residents still roam the dusty streets. Unearthing the Supernatural is investigating Vulture City with the hopes of making contact with the other side and maybe unearthing something new that the other professionals may have missed. We joined the Unearthing the Supernatural crew at the mine shaft. Only just barely starting their investigation, the crew is interrupted by a heart-stopping cry. Hush! That's a cat, right? That's a cat hissing at something bad. It's fighting something. On the property is a lone black and brown cat. The cries of the cat are heard throughout the property as it seems it is attacked by something. Is it a large animal, ghost, or something else? It's kind of already out there. Is there? Okay, hey buddy. kitty, what happened? You okay, buddy? My ears. There's a pack of them. Back behind there. In between those two walls behind the fence. Oh, you hear that? The crew manages to chase off the coyotes for now and returns to their investigation. Upon arrival to the property, a large owl swooped in front of the crew. Owls and coyotes, not a good sign in Native American beliefs, both bringing signs of misfortune and death. Are these ominous signs for what's to come for the crew? Hero decides to offer prayer and ceremony in response to these sightings and is given a dark Revelation. I'm documenting a really dizzy feeling above the mine shaft right now. I'm standing directly above it. So, document what's going on. This mine shaft, this land, this whole land around here is a hot spot not only for the recent history that happened but these sacred mountains over here sacred vulture peak they're sacred mountains to the indigenous people from here and there are things here that shouldn't have been disturbed <laughs> in our way in the Diné way there are giants there are Titans, there are monsters. Yeah, it's so. And 
around here there's those that are still here those those beings those those types of beings that are still here the ones that used to eat humans yeah literally literally eat humans are running around which might be a reason why beings here can't leave the buildings per se because they're almost could be like trapped because well, if, if they leave they could be eaten yeah. can you point your camera down a little bit they could be eaten yeah. can you point your camera down a little bit they could be eaten yeah. can you point your camera down a little bit they could be eaten in the old ways there are people too they were a race of people, creation. So we have a lot of ground to cover. Let's roll. The building you guys are pointing at right now, that huge monstrosity, is the Assay Building. Okay. That was built in 1884. Uh, that's where they processed the gold, melted the gold down, and they put them down in the vault after the floors were uh, molded. So uh, the shotgun guards would have stayed up here on the top story of the building. Um, so they would have washed over the vault. All right, we are currently lights out right now. This is. I got that. That's right behind Nalrion. What was it? I didn't see anything, but I heard it. It was right above you. Yeah, it was above you. It was behind you and up. It was like on the roof or something. Yeah. This is what we see. Completely dark. Hello? Was that you that was touching the roof? Yeah, it's so. Got an orb behind it. Yeah, it's so. It's on the roof. They are here. They know we're here. We've come to talk with you. Thunder? Thunder. Was there a storm that came through here recently? We heard there was a thunderstorm that came here yesterday. You know there's not supposed to be winter thunder. What was that? You know there's not supposed to be winter thunder. Now, Rion, I think you should hold this. You have experience with alchemy. <laughs> You're an alchemist yourself. What protection do you have around here? Many. You said many, huh? Yeah. Did the miners practice alchemy with you? All the time. All the time? What oh. symbol did you utilize the most? The crest. The crest. You alright? What happened right there? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Did it like get knocked out of your hand? Yes, it just flew. Pataya just had his flush. Who was that? Who's screaming at us? You are right though? Yeah, I'm right. Okay. 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 No way. What? Did you hear that?
run it said. Okay, let's check for the vault. Stored um, originally, and up here, this is where the shotgun guards would have stayed at. So, if you would have broken into here, you probably would have been. Boom! Dang. I made a big score today! I found a huge nugget! I want you guys to make sure it's safe. Can I put it in the vault? Can I go in the vault? I want to make a little draw. Can I go in the vault? Or do you think we could take it? Is that what people did back in the day? I know that you guys had shotgun guards here defending the gold vault. I myself work in security, so I understand the need for it. Do we have any shotgun guards still here? Still here protecting this vault? Or is it just free and open for anybody to come get? Yeah. I, 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 I thought it said don't. Don't? Yeah. Get out. That was a male voice that get out. So, do we have a shotgun guard here? Sounds like we do. You want to go down there, Pataya? Yeah, right. Okay. Do we piss it off or do we go in? Because okay. he gave us permission to go in there. Like, you're a caretaker. You're warning your leader. The one in person in charge here said we can go down in there. I heard footsteps upstairs. Okay. Is there a red one? Yeah. Sounded like you want to go in. I heard you gamble. I heard footsteps upstairs. Okay. For a red one? It sounded like you want to go in. I heard you gamble. Sean Clint. What's up? Pataya needs to go upstairs. He's security. All right, I am an officer, so I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to join you up there so you can talk about us going in the vault. Ooh. In the vault. Ooh. In the vault. Ooh. Ooh. If we can't shut that door. I felt that intent right there. Guys, guys, the door is closed. Oh, yeah. Guys, the door is closed. Upon leaving the alchemy room, the crew clearly left the door open, as you can see. Here's that moment again, and listen closely to a woman screaming in the room to their left. Huh. I asked them to close the door if they want us to leave. Is there anyone in here? This door is closed, you guys. Huh? This door closed. Yeah. Hello? Look at this, look at this. I have to put some force into this. 
Look. And these are heavy doors. I have to push this closed. Okay. 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 Get out. Ooh, that was a woman's voice. Okay, get out. Okay. Okay, get out. Get out. Get out. We'll listen. We'll listen. I think we should move to the next building. But do you want to go upstairs? Yes. Okay. I'm an officer, and I'm coming upstairs. Do not harm me. I do not harm you. No, 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 we got what we need. Sounds good. was the only one who saw the strange gray cat. Luckily, it was captured by Sean Clen's camera. The crew searched everywhere upstairs to debunk the cat's presence, but no evidence for the cat was found. After the investigation, the caretaker told the crew that there is no gray cat on the property, and the only cat was the black and brown one seen earlier in the night. Hello. All right, I'm up here. Do you like us being up here? That <laughs> said no. Hero going down into the vault. Honestly, pretty creepy being down in here. This is where the gold was stored in the assay office. Right now, Sean Clem and Pattaya are upstairs in the shotgun quarter. I am down here where the gold will be stored. We're getting a lot of activity. Honestly, a lot of voices saying get out. But we were given permission to come down in here into the vault, and I want to see if we're going to get anything. He's taking your gold. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> this right here is the window they would use. Dave, I think he's in the window watching you. It's really, really cold right here. Really? Is that you in the window? Can you hear me? Okay. I'm going to act like I'm taking a gold. But we're going to put it back respectfully. But I want to see if anything talks to us. Piece. If you want us to put it back, make a noise. Otherwise, we walk. Guys, 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 we're getting interference. Do you hear that? Oh. Okay, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh my gosh, I don't know what that was. Now that you put it back, did you put it back? Yeah. I hope I caught that on here. Now the IR light's working just fine. No real. No real. Or Pattaya. Yeah. Look. Look what's going on with my IR light. Oh 
Orb. We, we just got an orb. We got some major interference in the IR light. It's working fine now. Now that you put it down, just put it back. It's working fine. Now the IR light's working just fine. My head is burning so hot right now. Like you got shot? Yeah. God damn it, Hero, you got shot again. The door just opened. The door just kind of pushed. Pushed open. Swing it open some more. You okay? I'm not, I'm not feeling. I've got a hostile feeling. I need to get out of here. I'm out. I didn't take anything. I swear, officer. All right, well, we're leaving now. That door just opened, please. Which one? Right here. Right behind me? Yes. That door was not open and I'm still upstairs. This, this door that. just opened up right behind me. That opened up right behind me. You can see it on the camera as I'm coming down. It's closed. Is that is that easy to open? Let's try to... No. You gotta pull it pretty good. That has some weight to it, huh? Yep. Okay, Kehu, thank you. We do not take anything. We leave it as it is. All right, officer. We're leaving. Like, literally, everything from this side over, they had to bring in an Adobe expert to kind of put this all together, and they used as much as the original one as they could. Um, to put back in the actual building itself. So you're stepping, and this being one of the most haunted sides, um, it's the most original of the building. Most originally attacked with. I've had numerous like encounters with something back there that was either pushing me out, didn't want me back there, I was kind of uh, invading its space or something. This is going to be a fun place for you guys. This is a place where you want to probably spend a lot of your time. This is a place that's Senorita! Put on the bed, yeah. Do you know that we are in a pandemic right now as well? There's been a knock back here. A knock. Do you know now that we also have a pandemic dealing with a flu type symptom? That's why we're wearing our masks. That's why we're wearing masks. Did you have to wear masks? Knock again if that's you. There's a rock at the bottom.
Yeah, just leave it closed like that. Is your name Rita? What they say Mexican Rita. How I understand it is Senorita. I think that was her. Hmm? I think that was her. Introduce the Senorita. Can you make that device light up again? Thank you. Thank you. Did a really good job at that. Wow, great. A woman named Senorita. Usually it's a beautiful, beautiful woman. I want to say thank you. It really means a lot to us. We want to bring we want to bring awareness for your people here. Let the world know. Is there any messages you'd like to give? If you would like some music, please move away from the REM pod. I know a Christmas song. I'll sing it in Spanish. Thank you for... She wants to hear the song. Do you want to hear the song? Yeah, she moved away from the light. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. As a way of communicating, I thought I would sing that song. I know it's probably not a good one or... But in an effort to communicate, let you know that we are not here to agitate, aggravate, or try to make you upset in any way. Thank you. So, in honor, I thought I would just say that as, as, a, as an appreciation for communicating with us, touching us. Go ahead, in my language, and thank you. Ciao. Gracias. Gracias, señorita. Si. Buenas noches. Piano. May I play this piano? Uh, played by a heavy metal band called Motley Crue.
And what you used to experience the good the good days of uh, you being happy. Goodness. Yeah, goodness. That's how we are. We're, we're good people. With warmth and goodness in the crew's heart, the crew left the bordello in a good way, having entertained the beings of the afterlife. Now, a question still lingered over the area. Who or what are still around other than the ghosts of the town? It was time to get answers to these questions. much back in the day. I can tell you recently this place has been it's been weird. It's kind of been like strange things have been happening here that we haven't normally been seeing historically. Uh, myself and 20 or so of my guests on the tour like literally saw um, handprints and the arm prints manifest on top of the dust on the top of this table. And I actually have a photograph I can show you. So that Whoa. manifested and before we came in here what was really interesting is and this is part of the tour where before we walk in here we talk about the ufo activity and we talk about elementals okay and we were having a really in-depth conversation about elementals and uh we come in here and the only reason why i even bring that up is you see this thing start to manifest over time and then you start to see this manifest the second arm, the, second arm yeah. the presentation of this evidence is astounding it would seem as if the spirits of the area were literally reaching out and expressing themselves through sand paintings. Hero dons his sacred mask that represents a caretaker of the dead. It is a sacred mask worn in ceremony that would represent the being that would transfer the dead to the start of their journey. With the mask, song, ceremony and prayers, as well as other sacred objects, Hero will essentially step into the world of phantoms and seek to find out some pressing questions. Oh, oh, yes. I don't know if you can understand this language. And on this table, the caretaker of this land says you drew on the dirt, on the dust, on the sand. I mean, on this, on what we see. From what I've seen, Yeti, Yeti so Sand painting, Hawk Queen, Velvety, Sha Osta Ike and I, Natchashe, you took up. Yeah, or two orbs came in from my, my direction. Kitty's in here, kitty's in here. Oh, it's a cold day. Ha ha. Nash the table. Hell, the day, hey. Came back toward me. Hey, am I too scary for you? If so, oh, is this Native American stuff too powerful for you? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I will actually step back. I right, do you want me to step out. Let me try stepping out. Or just flew from your back. Oh yeah, we're going to 
wrap up our ceremony here. We're going to be done. And we're going to leave in a good way. In return, we're going to give you offering. Each and every one of you. We're going to give you offering. So, right now, gather these equipments here. And we're going to go outside. Gather your friends that are standing here with me. Your representatives of the buildings, your representatives of the area. Let's go out to the fireplace. I'm going to sing a song. Now, Rion is going to sing the song as an offering for you. And on top of that, we're going to be giving tobacco. And with this, we will explain further what we shall do. Let's gather and sit right here. I am not chasing any of you away. I am not putting you anywhere. Only with this good humble offering. Thank goodness. EVP session offering. End of. Good. We are here to gather. We are here to speak. We are here to give thanks for your blessings, your communication and goodness. So, I'm going to sing a song and now we're going to sing a song. Of culture, love, young and China. The Unearthing the Supernatural crew finished out their night with respect and humility as they prayed for all beings of the land from all time periods to bring balance back to the land and to feed the souls that call this place home. Even though mining is still ongoing on these sacred lands, hopefully some comfort was given to the ancient beings that were placed deep beneath the vulture peaks. The crew didn't have time to visit every building on the property, but are looking forward to the next time they come visit the amazingly haunted Vulture City Mine. Oh, my God.